Hi, today I wanted to share with you the easiest way to list the assets of a room uh, using FairSplit. Uh, moving toward AI being the absolute best way, but prepping uh, for how to do that. So what I've done this morning is I created the account here on my laptop, uh, Presentation House. Um, I'm going to go into that account and you'll see that I have several rooms. There's a new default room called AI Hold Photos, and I'm going to show you how you use that um, to prep for pushing things through AI, which is a, a exciting brand new thing that we've introduced. So let's go into the cottage living room and I'll tell you, I, I photos with my iPhone this morning and then I logged into this account, this same account on my iPhone and went into the cottage living room and clicked upload photos and files. And then I uploaded all of these photos of the small living room in this beach cottage. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is this screen capture I did here. This is the timer I set when I went into the room to, to track how long it took me to take the photos for this room. Now, this won't always be the case. Some places are going to have, um, you know, some rooms are going to have a lot more curio cabinets with lots of things to take. But in general, if it's not a cluttered room, you can go through click, click, click and take these photos quite rapidly. So in preparation for AI push, we don't want any photos in here that are overview photos, secondary photos, or big group photos hard to identify. So first thing let's do, let's highlight all of these overview photos that I took that are the wide angle pictures of the room. Let's move these to the AI hold room, get them out of this room for now. And then are there any other photos that we would not want from the watching the other video that you would have, which would be secondary photos? So secondary photos, in this case, this chair leaned back, the love seat leaned back, it's not the primary photo. And then I know I did one of the signature on this uh, artwork. So I'm going to also move those to AI hold. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is give you a quick refresher tutorial on how to list items by changing the name of the photo and using that tool. Let's get, we're going to pick this one. This is, I might get this wrong because there's, it's a built-in sofa, but what I wanted to show here were uh, three pillows, two blankets, and I'm going to click OK on that. So AI might have not been a little unsure what I was looking for in that photo, so I've renamed that. Another one that comes up sometimes when you're doing AI is if the photo that you took of a photo in a photo frame, AI would probably say, you know, family portrait in front of mountains, leather frame. In this case, I'm going to say David family, Alaska, cruise, brown, leather frame. Okay, so I can, I have now changed the name of this photo. And this takes us to a very good way that we came up with years ago. And this is the way many people list items now. List an asset for each photo. You'll see it's pre-checked, only convert photos that had their title changed. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And we're going to see that now we have two assets listed here using that method. The only thing we have to do is add category. I'm going to call these accessories, both the frame and the blankets. And now those two are listed. So those were not going to get, those are now not going to get pushed through AI. But now we've got everything either, let's go back and review, either we have everything uh, moved to the AI hold photos that we don't want converted, or we now are ready in the cottage living room to scroll down and put AI list. Now, this is going to bring up, if you've got a lot of photos, that would have taken a little longer. This is a little review before you push of how to avoid mistakes, which mostly we've talked about in these videos. But don't worry, if you accidentally get something listed that shouldn't have been, you can delete it and then rename it the way we just did. Or if you need to edit an AI name, you can also do that. But let's go ahead and scroll down. These are all the, oh, there's one. So we're going to, we'll end up deleting that one. I forgot to get rid of that a timer. We're going to start the job and it's going to take uh, maybe 10 minutes. So let's assume, let's go get a cup of coffee or whatever. Know that if this was in real life and I'm doing this and I'm doing this as a job, what I would be doing is immediately going to the next room, like the bedroom master and uploading the photos into there while I wait for AI to 
get items listed in the living room. So you can keep yourself busy. It's always fun to, I always say, go get a cup of coffee, let AI do its magic. And let me show you how that's, uh, so we can hit refresh and we're gonna see some of the progress that AI is making. You're gonna see that we're starting to, uh, we're gonna start to see in the room quite a few items listed with the categories there. Everything has been named in the room. And it, let's go to one that just shows like uh, 45 items or 40, 48 items, yes. So, uh, so everything is, has been uploaded and named in the system. Here's a list of the things uh, that are named. So we know that we wanted to now go back over to the presentation to the house, go into AI hold. We want to highlight all of these photos that we moved over and now move them back to the cottage living room. So we're going to go back into cottage living room. And now the overview photos are all here. And you remember, so the idea was we wanted to now go into and add the, add the secondary photo. So I'm going to go into furniture because I know that there was a sofa, a white leather sofa that we wanted to add the, the sofa back, lean back. It was a secondary photo. And you'll notice it's easy to find here because there's no paper clip. It means it is not associated with an item, which we're going to fix with that action. And now go back into here and we have the furniture sorted so we know we also have the recliner we click on the paper clip for editing it's got the primary photo now we want to sc scroll down to find the chair leaned back here it is with no paper clip associate with the asset and we know that we wanted to uh, the piece of art we know that we had a signature that we had put to the side. And so let me, to find that easily, I'm just showing you also how easy it is to search for things. We're gonna search the art category and pull up the black and white pencil sketch of a pelican. And, and actually we're gonna go through, and so it goes, there was another one. Uh, yeah, I missed that there were there was also a painting or a sketch we wanted to include with this. So we're going to go ahead and click edit Pelican and two otters in second uh, frame image. Okay, so there were two and AI had only picked up one. So we're going to save that. So you can see how easy it is to fix, edit, make changes. So we're going to now go down and find that artist signature that needed to be associated with the item. Where it was? Oh, here it is. Sorry. To do the room. Okay. So now we have everything in the room. And as we were doing this, I realized one of the things that's easy to miss, and it's going to be a great opportunity for me to show you how to add. So we're going to go into the cottage living room where we've been working, you notice that this, with this grid view, there's an enter new item. There is a round shag rug under love seat that I'm gonna put as an accessory. And I'm going to add that because I just remembered, I didn't do a close up of that rug, I could have. So now that's going to create a new asset that when you, when we scroll down through here, we're going to see there's one with an eyeball that's round shag rug. That means it does not have a photo associated with it. So this is the third way you can add items. So we're going to go down and you can see that rug clearly here, but notice that it's already assigned to the love seat, but we can select it and also associate that with that asset. So you can associate multiple items from a single photo, or you can put multiple photos from a single on a single asset. So now we're done. Okay, so now that we have everything listed by using AI and the two other ways to list, uh, let's show you the best place to check and see if you're happy with the results. Uh, the reports area, you should know about too up here that you can do Excel reports, but the web page report is the one that's going to let you see the asset listing. Um, we're going to click up here on the left and said show images. I'm going to do the small ones. So this is going to show you um, in the report, you can scroll down and see what the name of the item is, black and white pencil drawing of a pelican and two otters. Um, 
here's the signature, uh, here is the uh, description, and then you can move on down and see all the different items of that room and just scroll and be sure you're happy with all of them. And then if, if so, you can hit print and you can either send it to your printer or save it as a PDF to your computer. And uh, that is, those are the best features of the site. I hope this is helpful.